All right, guys, so here we go. Just cleared all the way up to level 10 on the trial grounds without even creating the magic candy. So we're going to create the magic candy for Frost Queen now. All right, and uh, let's do this. Um, I hope that I can get up to level 10. I don't know if it's going to uh, happen, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to have enough, guys. I'm going to have to go buy some. All right. Well, I'll go buy some, but before that, let's go over the skill effect here real quick. Eternal Frost, and we do have the buff, all right, and the skill cooldown reduction from 18 seconds all the way up to 15 seconds now. So definitely, definitely, definitely a lot better just off the bat with that, all right? This is the rally effect if you do select Frost Queen as the leader, all right? And the team's ice type damage is going to increase by 32.4%. Freeze is going to be 35% chance when all allies deal ice type damage to a frost target, which means it has that frost stack, all right, which it's caused by someone like Frost Queen or Sherbet at the moment. All right, freeze duration is going to be a one, split one second, but, you know, it's going to be there. And then damage after freeze, so once they get out of that freeze, is going to be 115% of Frost Queen's attack. Uh, so the power of the Crystal Jam changes Frost Queen Cookie's skill and makes her immune to attack speed changes. The cookie calls forth a blizzard dealing damage and causes frost. The final hit of the skill will bring a shard of eternal frost upon the enemies, dealing damage and freezing them. Enemies immune to freezing will become chilled, and once they lose the immunity, they will become frozen. So again, that chilled is very similar to what it is with uh, the drowsy effect that we had with Moonlight. All right, so it kind of prevents her from becoming useless against the cookies that are immune to, you know, debuff and stuff. So Blizzard's periodic damage up to 10 hits over 2.3 seconds, and it's going to be 34% damage per hit. Shard of Eternal Frost damage is going to be 355.8% uh, of attack. Freeze is going to be a total of 2.5 seconds. And then this is going to be the chill. If they do get chilled, it's going to be defense is reduced by 65%. Movement speed is reduced by 50% for 15 seconds. That is 100% uptime. And the damage after freeze is going to be 230.2% of attack, 70% of damage for targets immune to freezing, which is like bosses and uh, world exploration stages, right? Uh, and then blizzard targets frost. Attack speed is reduced by 10%. Freeze damage is plus 150%, capped at 350 for 20 seconds, and stacks up to one time. I'm going to put Snapdragon and just Frost Queen herself in here. So I'm going to put in the uh, Searing Raspberry. All right, here we go. Here goes the Blizzard. Oh my goodness. That, look at that skill effect, dude. Oh my gosh. The skill effect is insane. Holy... Yo, that looks so cool. I am not gonna lie. And it's every single time. Alright, here we go. She just one-shotted them, bro. The thing that's good about her now, like, she doesn't have this time where she's just, she's just channeling her energy and then doing the skill. While she's channeling her energy, she's throwing down shards at the uh, enemies. Just by looking at it, it's kind of crazy right now. Alright, look at this. Whee! Look at all those things, bro. What is that? Holy moly. I, I think she might be possible to be used in Living Abyss. I have to, I, we'll have to check, but... Jeez. That's crazy. Man, look at this. Holy! I mean, again, my Frost Queen is 5-star ascended. But that damage to a boss? Ooh! million damage just one skill <laughs> did you see that and then there's five frost stacks yo holy let's do some pvp let's do the comp that we 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 wanted to try out this is the comp that i had uh in the initial review of frost queen before the update actually came out all right so let's uh test this team out against the you know current meta again all right here we go guys so the triple dps right here with the old this one's the old comp of frost queen and this is not even 10 yet all right this is level 8 uh, frost queen crystal jam all right here we go all right we're gonna put it at 1.25 or 2 all right so here comes that oh gosh 
the lag that happens. <laughs> Doof! Golden Chief died before even she got to use anything. Oh my goodness. Alright. So Frost Queen right now is using full solid almond still. Just just keep that one in mind. Crimson Coral is gone because of the Sherbet. Ah, uh, sadly the Frost Queen did die. But oh my. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, so we got the uh, materials uh, to make a plus 10 crystal gem now to unlock this right here. Area damage after freeze. That is a ton of extra damage. There's an area damage now. So they explode, I think. That's what it does. There we go. 354.4% extra damage. I think this will make her way better in the arena. So we got Frost Queen doing the freeze again. Let's see the... Let's see the damage. Alright, I want to see the damage here. A million off of that one hit. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's turn the damage off here. Oh, but that Frost Queen still dying is... It hurts, man. It hurts. But we did get rid of... Most of them. It's just now Sherbet left to finish the job, hopefully, for us here. And there we go. Frost Queen died. But, I mean... Still very close to Sherbet's damage. Even after dying. Okay. Okay. We'll go with the Feather. I think, you know, we used to use this comp too. With the Feather, Whistle, and the Scroll here too. And we have... So, th th here's the possibility though. Sherbet might die first. <laughs> it might happen. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it is it's possible for it to happen. Alright, we're still alive. Definitely doing a little less damage because we don't have that scroll, right? But we got rid of the Crimson Coral on the enemy team. We got... Okay, extra. Oh! Oh my gosh! Did you see that? Did you see that explosion? After she came back alive? Alright, we're gonna use the holiday right here. Full of chocolate on everybody except uh, for Frost Queen and see how that works out. Alright, here we go. So we got Icicle Yeti going to the front. Should be able to reduce the damage of the, uh, the Moonlight skill, Golden Cheese skill as well. Man, look at... Look how laggy it is because of all the effects. Alright, here we go. Icicle Yeti goes up in the front again, reducing some damage, gaining some extra damage for our cookies as well. Oh. Icicle Yeti comes out, healing again. Oh! It actually worked. Now, what if we use golden cheese in here with a triple dps against this comp let's go all right here we go we got icicle yeti golden cheese frost queen there's just so many particles flying around everywhere holy moly bro all right golden cheese frost queen Oh, look at their HP just go down, down, bro. Seems like a Golden Cheese might die here, but yep. That's the benefit of having Golden Cheese is that Golden Cheese is able to go into that sarcophagus plus that shield on our team. Holy! That actually worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to work out. Oh, look at the damage. Ooh, this actually might be a comp here, guys. Because Golden Cheese will get targeted because we're using full Saiyan Raspberry. And then you're able to go and, uh, you know, get her killed. Pop that sarcophagus, allow Frost Queen to survive and do the damage that she needs to. So for Frost Queen though, um, you know, Frost Queen, here's, here's the thing. Without Crystal Jam, like completely without Crystal Jam, Frost Queen is 
definitely the worst legendary. I mean, of course, again, Steve Fairy, who has a Crystal Jam, kind of really, really bad, all right? Definitely gotten a lot better because of the 15 second cooldown. However, now with the Crystal Jam, just way better, way more damage. And then at plus 10, I think even before it gets the Ascension buff, this area damage after freeze is just so good. The, the amount of damage you're able to do is just so good. And then on top of that additional to the, you know, Yeti being in the team, Frost Queen is just able to survive and just, just do, do so much damage. All right. You know, in my opinion, Frost Queen's uh, Crystal Jam is looking way better right now than Sea Fairy, how Sea Fairy looked in the beginning. And also, if you guys have seen me do the Trial Ground, it's the easiest one out of the three, at least, right? And I think uh, being able to freeze or def uh, apply Frost Stack to the boss just makes it a lot easier. So why not make it, you know? Just makes her way, 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 way better, right? So there you guys go. The first initial review with, uh, you know, before level 10 and then after level 10 and of course we'll try it out at plus 15 and then 20 and such uh later on all right but there you guys go